Driving up north on the Trans Canada Highway. The night is sweet, a thousand stars. I'm driving up north on the Trans Canada Highway. The night is sweet, a thousand stars. Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel, The Diaries of DIY Danny. I, of course, am Danny, and this channel is all about my love of DIY and helping you guys solve your home decor dilemmas with a custom solution. I am very excited to share this project with you all because there is nothing like bringing in the new year than with celebrating new life. So today I'm helping my friends Steve and Rose who are newlyweds, new homeowners, and they're soon to be new parents to a sweet baby girl named Lily. Yay babies! Just wanna like grab their cheeks, eat their little feet hands no 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 they've asked me to transform their nursery room into a room full of diy love and of course i said yes without further ado let's get into this project roll the tape Stephen Rose had already done so much to the nursery to make it special. The walls were painted a nice light gray, they had bookshelves, a changing table, and the comfiest reading chair I've literally ever sat in. But as you can see, the theme was very gray and white. We got talking about what we wanted to do on the wall. We knew we wanted to do some kind of mural. I mean, we talked about doing mountains, we also had a cool tree idea, maybe something a little bit more abstract. But ultimately, I think we landed on this cool cascading weeping cherry tree that blooms these beautiful pink flowers. I just loved it. They loved the idea. So here was the plan. Focusing on the two walls around the crib, first I would create these light gray white branches that were gonna flow down from the ceiling and nicely cascade around the crib. Then, of course, we bring in those sweet pink florals that are gonna bloom all over them. Then, to sweeten the deal, I'm creating the most adorable DIY mobile that would be created to feel like an extension of the mural off the wall. Simply adorable. They loved it, and we were ready to move on with the plan. Okay, so I just arrived, and I'm in the sweet baby room. To get this mural started, I first taped off the top of the crib height with tape so I knew my boundaries I wanted to play within. Then to map out this shape, I used a little trick with chalk. If you're tackling a big project like this on a wall and you're not really sure how you want it to look or you just want to lay out the plan, using chalk on a wall is such a great non-invasive way to do it because you can draw on the wall and if you don't like it, you just get a damp cloth and wipe it away. Um, and so this is how I first created the outline for all of my vines. I took my drawing in and kind of used it as a guideline, but I was really just winging this. Nail biter, people. <laughs> Once I was happy with the design, I went back over lightly with a pencil. Once I was ready to start painting, I would simply wipe away the chalk and then just paint over the pencil line. So I started the first layer of my branches with a light gray to map out the general shape. For this project, I'm using a soft body acrylic based paint. Because I wasn't painting large amounts of surface space, using artist quality acrylics was fine for me. But if you're ever planning on tackling larger surface areas, I totally suggest using a latex paint, aka an interior household paint, then do any detailed work with your acrylics. So once I was done the light gray, the idea was to go over top of it with a white that kind of gave it this contrasting color. So once I was finished with the white branches, it was time to move on to those pink florals that I've been waiting all day to paint. <laughs> So I just kept working my way across all the branches. There was no rhyme or reason. I was just kind of feeling it out and adding flowers where I felt was the best place to put them. I think the flowers definitely make a big difference. It's super cool. Now, like I haven't done any of the texture on the flowers yet. They're just like simple little petals right now, which I will go do once they're dry, but like, looking pretty cool. 
Especially from afar, it looks really cool, don't you guys think? It's so pretty. Then using my bubblegum pink chalk paint, I added a little detail on top to end my day on a good note. Okay, it's day two. <laughs> so for the second wall, as you can see, I'm gonna go a little across the crib, just a little bit above, but then this side is gonna drape down more. I marked out where the edge of the crib goes. So essentially day two was just same thing, just rinse and repeat. I created my chalk lines, then the pencil lines, went in with light gray paint, and then went over with the white. Also, I would love to know how many of you watching have kids at home? Are you interested in seeing more kids and younger DIY spaces and ideas? Let me know in the comment section below. So at the end of the day, as a last final touch, I added a little detail to the flowers with a dark red. I just wanted to add like little stamens and maybe a little little detail on the edges of the flowers, but it just all looked so cute and I liked the little added detail. Yes! Two days of long painting, but I loved the way it turned out. I'm so excited, Stephen Rose were thrilled, I was thrilled. We had a mural and we were ready to move on to the mobile. To make my mobile, I started with pink felt to make the flowers. You can pick these squares up at any craft or dollar store and they're very inexpensive. To begin, I accordion folded the felt and cut the felt into small squares. I actually just used the barcode labeled as my size guide. Then cut any closed edges and you have your squares. Now to make the petals, fold the square over twice and use scissors to round the open edge. Feel free to use fabric scissors, but regular scissors also work just fine. Now these felt pieces didn't look perfect, but that's okay, that's how I wanted them. I just wanted the edges to look nice and curved. I went with felt to create these flowers because first off, it just feels like warm and cozy and that's what you want in a nursery. Like, it's just nice to your face, you know? Just Reminds me of babies. Next I took dark pink tissue paper and cut out small circles that were smaller than the felt pieces. Last, using a sewing needle and white thread, also feel free to use light pink, I then simply sewed the tissue paper onto the middle of the felt patch, then pinched in the middle, folding it over and stitched it together. I worked in a circular direction. Once it was done, I was left with a cute little flower. I liked the tissue on the inside, it added a little extra texture and it mimicked the red accents on the mural. Now all I had to do was repeat this a few more times. So once all the flowers were done, it was time to create the whole mobile. To do that, I was using a 14 inch embroidery hoop. So to create the hanging portion, I'm using macrame cotton cord and a small wooden hoop. To attach the cord to the hoop, I'm using something called a cow hitch knot, or also called a lark's head knot. To give this piece a little bit of extra personality, I added these awesome wooden beads. To get the macrame cord on, I simply taped off the ends and fit the bead through and voila! To make sure that the embroidery hoop is level, I actually find it's easier to do it while it's hanging in the air. I think it's good. Just leave it. It's good. Just to make sure that those knots were good and tight, I'm actually taking super glue and I super glue those knots. <laughs> no, wait, can you open this? No, this is child proof. So children stay out. Once the placement is right around your ring, I actually super glue the material to the wood hoop itself. That way it's never moving, it's never coming undone, 
and it's darn safe. So to create the cascading flowers, I started with a smaller hemp cord. I'm knotting it off at the top and letting it cascade down. To indicate where I was going to put each flower, I simply added three to four knots on each string. By leaving extra thread on the flowers earlier, this was allowing me to use that thread to tie each of the flowers above each of the knot on the hemp cord. If you're worried about the florals falling off, you could also sew the flowers right onto the hemp knot. And just simply keep doing this, staggering them in different heights until you're happy with the way it looks. And to sweeten the deal just a little, I ended up ordering a small mobile swinging music box that actually helped my mobile spin slowly and the box played cute little tunes. If you're interested in this mobile, I will link it below. Just make sure you purchase one with a remote. Now that I had my mobile and the mural was done, all that was left was to put this nursery all together. I am just over the moon excited to welcome baby Lily into this world. I hope she loves this nursery as much as I do. And Stephen Rose, I wish you all the luck and love in the world as you become new parents. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. But where was mommy? Boo couldn't sleep without his mommy's special bedtime hug. I feel that. Boo looked everywhere, but mommy was nowhere to be seen. Oh no, where's mommy, Boo? So Boo went to see Lion. I need a hug, Boo said to Lion. Very gently, Lion lifted Boo in one big paw and